Hello, and welcome to Minecraft Maker. My name is Theron, and uh, I'm out here by the cactus farm, which is growing. Um, I don't know that I built any of this on camera. You've seen some in the test world, in my, uh, in my, in my creative world. I got a bunch of sheep here because I'm building this thing out of green wool, so I need a bunch of green wool. So I have a bunch of green sheep. Some of them get out, which is a little annoying, but you know. And I don't know where this guy came from. He's not one of mine. But you see, I got sheep climbing the trees, and they're down in the valley over there. That's fine. I can always uh, breed more. Uh, it's a nice little wooded area. Oh, hi, sheep. He's one of mine. Uh, anyway, let's uh, go inside. So what I'm going to do today, this is going to be something of a tutorial. Um, I'm growing pumpkins inside here. Um, i got enough jack-o'-lanterns in the floor that the pumpkins grow just fine. Uh, and you see I've got the uh, the cactus farm is up and working. Oops. Do that. I'm putting these off over here. So it's it's been going. And... Uh, haven't filled up a full double chest yet, but we're getting there. Uh, and then here's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how I go about building this thing because it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird. And uh, I think it's early enough in the day. Let me stash all my stuff. All right, so I have a chest here filled with the supplies needed. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna grab these yeah and I didn't really want them to go down there but that's fine and then we're gonna grab these so we need a bunch of building material I'm using green wool I figure for what I'm about to do I need about 12 stacks um, of whatever building material you're using you need uh, for my design here you need a stack each of jack lanterns sand and cactus so you'll have to do some cactus farming or find a large desert biome and some sacrificial material I'm gonna use dirt um, I sometimes use sand it depends uh, I also want a door two buckets and some ladders so let's uh, let's get going so I'm growing these because I need plenty of jack-o'-lanterns and the sheep outside for the building material and so right now I have uh, I think four layers of this thing built in it's completely modular and let me show you up top it looks really plain because that's what it is so I've already done the first step which is build a 19 by 19 platform on top of a hopper and a chest <laughs> so the first thing you do is place the chest in the center of where you want I've got double chest here but you know same basic idea so you place the chest where you want hopper feeding into the chest and then the 19 by 19 platform with one hole in the center above that and I do above that so that I can actually walk up and and get to this chest you can of course build whatever you want here you can eliminate the hopper and chest and just have the items fall on the ground you can uh, have the hopper feed in here and put down some rail cart some uh, you know some rails and build a little minecart automation system you can do uh, lots of different options uh, which I think I will I may put in a rail cart automation system to cart the stuff back to my home base at some point um, after I complete the main building which is going to be a little while because it's still not as tall as I want it I'm building the square part inside a circle and the circle is not necessary uh, unless you want to build it inside a circle in which case you are free to do that um, and, and basically I'm doing it because I want the building to be uh, to be circular for reasons which will be should be pretty obvious okay the sun's going down so let me quickly uh, quickly go to bed and we will oops oh there's the air conditioning okay um and the rain <laughs> yay okay hang on a second uh so i got a i have a slightly new setup here and one of the persistent problems that 
you may have noticed in the past that I had some fan noise from the computer. Uh, I play Minecraft on my uh, MacBook Air. Um, I love the MacBook Air. I think it's a great computer. Probably the best laptop ever built. Um, but when it goes all Minecrafty, it uh, the fin spins up the fan, which is fine. But it sits right underneath the microphone when I'm playing on the laptop itself. So I have a new setup. I'm using a uh, Bluetooth keyboard and the uh, the Magic Trackpad that Apple has, which I prefer over a mouse. And and I am sitting. I've got the computer sitting on the other side of the room and cables feeding into an external monitor. So let's see how this works. Hopefully the fan noise will not be apparent, but you may hear some other background noises, such as the air conditioning, because it's the end of May or, yeah, it's the end of May or June 1st, whichever, I don't know which it is, but it is uh, it's rather warm outside. So the air conditioning wanted to kick in. Okay, so first step, we're building the water layer first. We're gonna build a wall Oops, I'll just do that. We're going to build a wall of the of your building material, which henceforth I shall refer to as wall because that's what I'm using. If 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 I haven't said enough times yet so far today. All right, so we're going to I'm going to build the outer one as well. Again, this is completely optional. Uh you don't have to do it. Um and you can see my sheep down there. And you can see my home base which is pretty cool. Cannot see the mob farm, it's uh, too far away. Um, I was, I wanted, I intentionally made this in this location because I wanted it to be visible from home base. Um, but um, I was thinking, I didn't know, I didn't want to induce any lag issues, so I was hoping maybe the cactuses would not be, oops. Uh, that the farm itself wouldn't be doing anything while I was at home it does not appear to be the case. So it may not have been the best place to build it, but it works. Uh, I I do notice I have some frame rate issues at the house anyway, but I think that's in part all the animals. Okay, so here's where the ladder goes. Obviously, oops, sorry, I have to get used to this keyboard all right okay so this is where the water is going to go we're not going to put the water in just yet but the it's, it's 19 by 19 which means the inside is 17 by 17 meaning the edges are all eight blocks away from the center which is eight blocks is how far water will flow uh, however if we just put water along the edges of a big square like this, it will all turn into source blocks. So you need to do something about the corner. So for, for now, we're going to put in a couple temporary uh, four blocks each in the corners, a little two by two area, uh, which we will deal with later. Okay, and then secondly, now we need our sand and our jack-o'-lanterns. All right, so... I like building it so the jack-o'-lanterns all face the ladder. Um, does not matter whatsoever. Uh, the jack-o'-lanterns, of course, go in. Uh, we need them to be above the water. And jack-o'-lanterns have an annoying habit of need, not habit, but requirement. They have to be sit, placed on something, which is a little annoying. But that's the way it is. So. I put my little sacrificial blocks and I grabbed a down downstairs of course I said I was using sand I mean dirt and I picked up a stack of dirt and of course what did I do I used sand because that's what I've been using so in between the corners we place a block of a sacrificial block I'm using sand again um, every other block right and then we take it out and the reason I use sand is because it's easy It's easy to see. It has high contrast against the green wool. And it's easy to dig out. So you go pick them all back up. Because we need, we need them all. So I'm going to do this. And... Alright. 
So it's pretty straightforward. And what we end up with is a bunch of floating jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, the jack-o'-lanterns are of course for light. We need something to hold the sand that holds the um, that holds the cactus. You cannot have sand floating in the air. Although I saw who was it? I saw Mumbo Jumbo posted a video yesterday, I think, um, which used the vines uh, on sand. So you place a couple pieces of sand, place a vine on the side of the sand, and then. Um, dig out the sand underneath and because of the vine the stand, sand stays in place I guess it was kind of weird but I didn't know you could do that it's probably a quirk of the game and who knows how long before they fix it this works jack-o'-lanterns can be placed you know they can be floating in the air they just can't be placed floating they oops they have to be placed on top of something and they can't be I don't know quite what the rules are but it can't be like a hello Mr. Hall oh that's here's what the farm looks like um, I probably should have stopped it and showed you one of the complete layers um, so the the uh, jack-o'-lanterns have to be placed on top of something and I think it has to be a non-transparent block I haven't experimented or and I haven't seen any any sort of rules about it in the wiki, but uh, you cannot place them on top of a fence post, for instance. So I was trying to use jack-o'-lanterns for like street lights, uh, which we have some down below, and you can't do it directly. You have to place some. You have to place the jack-o'-lantern first, and then place the uh, the flagpole beneath it, or the the uh, the fence post beneath it which is uh, interesting kind of annoying but it works so I use dirt and here we go so I'm doing this so this serves two purposes one is it holds the sand on which the cactus will grow it uh, and it provides light it holds the sand um, the sand we need the cactus to be above the water um, th there are cactus farm designs where cactus takes advantage of the fact that the cactus will grow in water um, that's not this one here I'm not doing that um, so so we need to keep the cactus elevated above the water we we do the jack-o'-lanterns to hold up the sand of course the sand won't float in the air unless you use witchcraft or vines or the equivalent Minecraft equivalent and then uh, and the jack lanterns also provide lighting so we don't get any mobs spawning inside the farm which I don't know realistically if oh come on I don't know if mobs can actually spawn uh, above flowing water they do in mob spawners so in the uh, in my skeleton you know my XP farm skeleton spawner I know that around a spawner they will spawn above flowing water um, but I don't know if uh, if the spawner might be a special case might be might not be I don't know but this works and it doesn't take up that much room Uh, pick up so it keeps it nice and bright on the inside no mobs no mobs will spawn on the inside of the farm so everyone's happy you don't get spiders and stuff uh, jamming up the works sorry about that doggy neighborhood watch in progress all right so we got this oops Ah, stop it. Hang on a second. Hey, hey, hey! Sorry about that. All right. Uh oh. Connection lost. 
Ooh, okay, have to work out the quirks with the new truck pad. Okay. All right, so we're almost done placing these guys. And here comes the rain. Lovely. All right, so we're left again with our 64, uh, 64 sand. So I picked them all up. Good. Now, door goes in just above this level. We're not going to put the water in first. The door goes in between these guys facing this way. So let's go ahead and place him now. Awesome. Okay, and then we will continue building up the walls because we need to put another level. And step over here. And now that I have the jack o' lanterns in, I will get zombies and stuff spawning down below, but we should be okay here. So I should be able to just work through the night. Uh, since I, I mentioned I, I, I need about 12 and a half stacks of building material of, of wool for each layer if you want to build the base layer the 19 by 19 base layer is another uh, six stacks another five or six stacks so that's something to keep in mind and about half of the 12 stacks is the outer the outer circle the outer circle and the inner square actually take up about the same amount of material so if you're not going to build it in a circle what would go in towards the what would go towards the outer circle uh, you can just apply to uh, the base of the layer so about half of it is in the base and when you get done you can you don't have to put a ceiling on it you can leave it open to the top on the top doesn't seem to be a problem so uh, you can avoid having to spend another six stacks or so to build a ceiling which you would then have to light if you didn't want mobs spawning on top Ooh, hello there we go so all right so while I'm doing this a little bit more to go um, I am So in addition to my new uh, setup here, my new Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad, oops, and all the new noises you may hear because now the fan noise isn't going to drown everything out, so you might hear the rest of the house sounds. Oh, that's neat. What's down there? Why is that lit up? Oh, interesting. Um, what's going on? I had a fun little... Uh, Excursion the other night, I uh, was bringing the dogs outside to go do their business before uh, <laughs> do their business before bedtime, and I tripped and fell down the stairs, which sounds like a horrible domestic domestic violence excuse, but it's it's absolutely true. It's absolutely what happened. Um, it fell really weirdly on my ankle and I made a weird popping sound and I was sure that I'd, I was thinking I had broken it. And uh, fortunately I did not. Everything still moves. Everything still works. It's a little sore. It's still a little puffy, but it's feeling better. Um, but I'm hobbling around a little bit, which is no fun. Would be out and about in the world on a lovely Saturday afternoon, if not for the fact that driving and walking are not terribly fun activities right now. So instead I'm outside walking around in a virtual world building stuff. So as you can see I am, whoops, ah, damn it, ah, ah, okay. Uh, I am placing now sand on top of the jack-o'-lanterns. And this, the sand of course will be where the cactus grow. Cactus need uh, sand grow on 
So let's finish placing these. And I'll go pick up those two stray sand blocks. And let me walk around to the side here. Um, one of the big challenges of building this is figuring out the right order in which to do things. And I think I figured it out. Um, and the uh, biggest annoyance is that you can't reach from the walls. You can't reach all of the, uh, the tops of all of the growing pads. So this is, this is where I do use the dirt because you need a place from here that you can then reach all the rest of the in, inside, the inside jack-o'-lanterns. Um, and you will see when it comes time for the cactuses, I end up using a different tactic. And I will talk about the pros and cons of the way I do it and how you could do it, but it's not too bad. Get those and then the inner four. All right. Oh yeah. Wait. No. Uh oh. Why am I short sand? Uh oh. Did I not pick up the sand from back here? Okay, we're gonna have to go get some more sand. Um, this is why it's usually a good idea to carry additional building materials. But mine are just down below, so that's weird. I wonder if I dropped it down the hole. The one that I tried to place in it, I thought it just it didn't place, but maybe it fell off and fell down the hole. In which case it will be in the chest down here. Alright. No, it's not there. Oh, it's in my inventory. What the heck? Why didn't I see it? That's weird. I don't get it. Okay, doesn't matter. Alright, so. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Okay. Uh oh, and of course the one I'm missing is right in the freaking middle. Okay. It's that one there. And I picked up the dirt. Silly fool. Okay, there we go. And here we go. All right, so that completes the uh, the sand. So now uh, we want to put another row on, another layer. Okay, and this is you know of course just tedious. Hi, Mr. Spider, I hear you. Where are you? Whoa! I don't have any weapons. Ah, dang it. Ha <laughs> ha, I have feather falling boots and you don't. Oh, that was annoying. Maybe we should carry our sword with us. Just in case. Where did I put it? I put it over here. Okay. So that was a little bit of folly. Okay. All right, back up to the top. Sun's coming up, I can tell. Oh, yeah. So where did he spawn? I didn't think he had enough room up here. He needs like a 3x3 three three pad, right? Oh, weird. All right. It's okay. It's never happened to me before while I was working on this, so I'm not going to worry too much about it happening again. And I have my sword in case it does. Uh, I think this episode's going to be a little longer than usual. Uh, I would like to get this all completed. And I don't want to have to make you go watch a different video. So so we'll just uh, do that. So for, 
so from here on out if we find ourselves down inside the bottom area inside the drain drainage area uh, we can use we want to be able to use the door to get out but right now the door doesn't lead to anywhere so we'll fix that in a moment I will fix it right now why not okay so we want the door we're gonna build a little floor like the ones below there makes sense I like building a couple oh, stop it ah stop it What's going on here oh little optical illusion or just me being a doofus leave so like having uh, at least one block off to the side of the ladder and so now we can get back out and uh, in and out and that will become important once we place water because the last step will involve us having not the last step but one of the last steps will involve us needing a way to get out and the walls are high enough there we go the walls will be high enough that you can't climb out and we don't want to put ladders or stepping blocks on the inside because that might get in the way of the cactus falling through the hole where we need them All right. Oh, one more. One more side. Yeah, I, I designed this so that the outer circle, the corners intersect exactly with one point on on the corners of the square. Corners of the circle. The uh, one point of the circle intersects cleanly with the corners of the square. So it just it ends up being more efficient that way. And uh, yeah. Okay. So now. now we can place the water or what I like to do is I like building up so we're at we just built up the wall so that's at the same height as the sand now we need to build up the wall so that's at the same height as the uh, as the the cactus so let us do that so I like building up the walls so it's basically two more two more rows on the walls I will try to think of something to talk about while we do that because this this part is a little tedious uh, let's see I don't know if anybody watched the uh, the SpaceX Dragon 2 uh, launch event uh, or if they tuned in and thought they had missed it because they were about 25 minutes late with the start of it which is kind of annoying um, and so they had that really really dreadful hold music uh, well we were waiting for them to come out and it's not like they had to get the capsule ready it was sitting on the stage covered up with a parachute uh, and uh, and you know it's not like there was some crazy technical you know Elon Musk flew out in a on a jet pack or anything like that uh, so I don't know the source of the delay I, I have some friends who work at SpaceX and uh, they haven't said but and it was a short little presentation it was a little awkward um, I know Elon Musk is a fairly uh, um, fairly uh, charismatic guy but he sure was uh, about as eloquent as I'm being right now let's put it that way and the the capsule was not designed to be easy to navigate under in gravity so having him step into the capsule and sit in the uh, the pilot seat was an interesting choice and I also found it interesting that the pilot was too sitting with his or her um, left hand to the control stick 
seemed odd to me. I don't know if one of the requirements to be a pilot of this thing will be that you be left-handed or that they figure control pad people use control pads with their left hands even, even if they're right-handed. Uh, so I, I'm curious about the rationale behind that. Uh, but operating operating the yoke of a of a airship or you know airplane or or piloting a spaceship is not something that you want to do with your off hand so you know the fine motor control it's it, it was interesting when when Nintendo started building their pads for the Super Nintendo with the the directional pad on the left it seemed like an odd choice but we quickly got used to it because fine motor control in your offhand is often better um, but this isn't a video game this is an actual spaceship and you may need you know they may need to if they're actually going to be piloting the thing with the stick it seems most pilots use their use their you know whatever if they're right-handed they seem to use their right hand to control the yoke of the airplane that they're flying and I would think that pilots of this thing would want to do that as well so I'm wondering if the um, the they actually switch the pilot seat over to after they get some experience with it switch the pilot seat over to the other side of the stack because there isn't a whole lot of instrumentation inside the cockpit and it almost looked like a mock-up um, but I don't believe it is because similar to the way the, the Teslas are built Elon Musk's other venture um, or another one of his ventures let's put it that way um, you know they're built with you know, they have a big huge touch screen in the center and uh, that's that's uh, you know the way we interact with our computers these days, it makes kind of perfect sense to make everything. Uh, since it's all going to be fly-by-wire anyway, it's not like uh, it's not like there's going to be a great deal of mechanical stuff. So if the the power goes out in this thing, the 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 crew is probably pretty screwed anyway. You know, they won't have the opportunity to manually control and fly the thing because uh, it's all designed to sort of work itself okay so now where are we at here I lost track so we have let's go down let's go down below we may be at the point where we want to place the breakers all right oops so this is why we put the door in okay so we got here we have pumpkin sand cactus and breaker yes we are ready for the breakers. so for the breakers I started using signs and what I found was that they worked I knew that they would work you know signs uh, are a transparent block and they oops, where are you going uh, transparent block and they but they occupy effectively as far as the game is concerned a full block uh, so if a ca one next to a cactus will cause the cactus to pop off and fall so what I'm doing is I'm placing it here one above the base layer so we're, we only oops, we only want the cactus to you know we'll have the cactus be one tall and when it grows the second layer we aren't going to try and get crazy and have it grow three and then automatically pop them off or anything like that so and and using this little trick here whereas if you place a sign on the face of another sign it just kind of floats there but it actually occupies this whole space so when the cactus grows up next to it it'll say oh i'm just something next to me and it'll pop off so these signs here so you don't need to use full blocks is the point i'm trying to make so uh and this allows you to see through it it's the reason i don't you could use a row of full blocks that would work just as well and so this this row is works for both of these rows so I can skip one and I can come up and place them here so you need four rows of these and because the the in, inside of the box is 17 
is uh, 17 blocks across you need 4 times 17 so and since sine sine stack to 16 you need 4 stacks plus 4 so 4 and a quarter stacks but you knew that and could figure it out oh night time but we don't need to go sleep I have a sword and I'm not getting that hungry yet so skip this one and we can go do this and once you get these placed oops there we go uh, once we get these placed then we will worry about getting the water and once the water is placed then we can place the cactus I want to do the cactus last because they're the one they're actually dangerous um, you, if you fall into them you take damage it's kind of annoying so we want to place them we want to place them without oh, stop it sorry I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time I've never done that before we want to place them uh, last and from as far distance as we can missed a sign not that it matters I don't think okay one more row of signs here and this is a lot easier to do without the water so we will we do that before we place the water <laughs> Oops. so yeah the uh, the dragon capsule it, I don't know it, it kind of it was so clean looking it kind of looks like a mock-up but according to my friends who were actually able to go look at it and they said no it's not there's not even decals on it the the little rocket uh, logo the the Drago logo on it is actually uh, it's not a it's not a logo it's not a sticker it's actually printed onto the shell which is kind of kind of cool okay so now we're gonna do that little trick where you can fill up any area of water with two buckets so we're gonna we're gonna put in the bucket we're gonna put in the water now so I want to put water along each of these four sides and then I'll come back and deal with the corners and you we want to put source blocks all along the edge here now if you've got ice you can place ice in and then just go along and break it that works um, that could be a little bit easier uh, and then go do that on all four sides but what we're going to do is we're going to build essentially an infinite water source um, <clears throat> along here we're going to put the two buckets two two blocks apart and then i can go refill uh, the bucket and now we only need one water bucket we only needed the two to create out to set that up in the first place so we're going to come up here and ooh. and use the uh use the pumpkins here to hold this in place the water is pushing us against the pumpkin here and so the point where the water starts to taper off we place the next bucket one block out from that and then scoop up one nearby and then we can just keep doing that all along oops come there we go oops and so if we screw up like that we can just there we go you just scoop up the water and now we just place one in the corner so this side is done now we just need to do that on the other sides um, place the water the water block here Woo! now I could scoop up and fill in back from over there and that's why I say you only need one one bucket after this point Oops, no scoop from there thank you okay place it there scoop place scoop so this is the same basic layout that I used for the gold farm but I handled the corners differently and I didn't realize well stay there um, I didn't realize you can do what I'm gonna do here so I may go back and modify the gold farm to uh, to use the same water layout and the gold farm because it's far enough away from the the edge of the portals I just placed a water block up here and it flows down over the side 
doesn't work in this case because the pumpkins get in the way. Um, so, uh, doing a little, oops, doing a little research, I I found that what I'm going to do here works just fine. So that's what I shall be using. Uh, stay back. Oh man. Uh, I screwed something up here. Oh oh oh. Fill up my water. There we go. All right. Oops. Um. Okay, I'm being spastic now. Hang on a second. Let me get back over here. Here we go. This is the way it works. All right. So the nice thing is if you do end up, uh, there's no need to build this thing super high in the air. Now I am at the moment a bunch of blocks above ground floor. Um, but as you saw when the spider attacked me, um, if you have, you know, decent boots, which mine are now a little damaged, um, ah, come on, uh, you can survive, oh, come on, you can survive the fall, uh, without much, without too much trouble, um, but you don't need... Uh, you, you don't you don't need to build the base layer of this high up in the air at all. This isn't like a mob farm where you're trying to induce fall damage. So, um, it's if you end up falling flowing through here, it's not the worst thing in the world to fall down to the bottom, unless you build this thing you know like twelve stories tall. Okay, so now we have the water in all the sides. Let's go deal with the corners. Super easy. Stand here in the corner. Knock out the the corner block. Knock out this block. Knock out this block. Now notice the water in the corners here flow back into the corner, which we don't want. And this one creates a little node here where stuff flows in. And it's no good. So you want to place a bucket of water one block above into the corner. So it'll end up looking like this. And that'll cause everything to flow in the way we want it. Now you need to do that in each corner. So that's, a, that's an easy way to get uh, in a square area all flowing into the center. And of course you can build this with different shapes. You can build a, a larger fall area through the center. That's all. That'll all work. Um, and you can also make this larger by building the sides flowing into a center area which then flows into your drop hole so you can do you have all kinds of options to do this and you'll see if you look at at cactus farms slime farms uh, different types of farms where you want your drops to all flow into the center oops, um, then uh, you'll see you'll see different approaches all right, almost done with the water placement. All right, and then we go and pop these out. Last corner. All right, and now we do this. And now we come up to the door and we, we hop out. There we go. If we go up top and take a look at it, whoa. So if we look at it from up here, you'll see that all the water flows from every single square in the bottom down into the center. Cool. So now it's time for the cactus. And things get a little bit tricky because from up here, because we're two blocks up, we can only place on the outer ring from up here. So we'll do that first. But that leaves us a bunch of blocks in the center that we can't place from up here so we're gonna to have to build scaffolding now if you wanted to I said I would talk about this earlier if you wanted to build uh, 
instead of using signs as the breakers you could you could put scaffolds of solid blocks whatever your building material is uh, I guess glass would work I think I've seen cactus farm designs that use glass uh, so you could do that and you could still see through it I like the fact that the signs don't obscure the view that's the way that's why I use them instead of solid blocks so I'm gonna build solid blocks across as scaffolding uh, which is a little bit just a little bit much but what I'm gonna do so here I'm going to go out and we're gonna we're gonna build a little bridge across your temporary bridge across thing and you can use whatever material you know sacrificial material you want to use I'm gonna use my wall because it's handy and I've got a bunch of it but you get it all back so or you get almost all of it back there we go so this is all the farther you need to build it so let's uh, we can place cactus here and from here you can reach out two to the side because we're closer to the to the cactus than right we're right between two rows here so we're closer to them than we are from the edge wall oops don't need the ladders cactus cactus now the farm will start working and we may actually see some cactus grow and pop off. It takes a few minutes for them to start, but we may actually see it happen. So from here, we just knock off our scaffolding. And they'll fall down the water and fall down into the chest down at the bottom. So we can go retrieve it later. And not that one. Notice how it fell onto a cactus. So that, that block is now gone. And this is the reason I showed you in the last episode, we looked at uh, sort of testing how I was doing the testing on how well these works, these uh, designs work. And I did build one that was a complete checkerboard, which you can do. It works. Um, the problem is that more of the cactus blocks when they drop off actually fall onto cactuses, cacti if you're so inclined although apparently either pronunciation is correct um, and more of them fall onto other cactuses and get destroyed and so the yield on this layout was the best that I saw now the the farm that I saw mumbo jumbo building on I believe the hermit crab server was uh, was like a bunch of these on top of each other and apparently it has rather good yield so it might be a more efficient design you can go check it out if you like we're almost done there we go okay let's take down our scaffolding so this layer is now done now i'm going to build this thing a little taller i don't know how many layers of actual cactus farm i'm going to build but the structure itself will be taller uh, quite a bit taller than it is currently. How much farther? Okay. There we go. So we're done. So there's your new cactus farm. And if we sit here and watch a little bit, we should see something grow and pop off. <laughs> cactus will grow and they they sort of explode like the like popcorn it's kind of fun to watch actually especially in sped up with the the random game tech setting but so anyway this is it so now we can uh we can go down below and and actually take a look at what the uh our yields look like so we've been up here building a while all the layers below us have been producing cactus uh, oh, I need to get some torches to light up that platform, but you can see here Here's the inside one. It's nice and bright and uh, Nice and compact so it'll keep going doing its thing And each of the layers are identical So Come on there we go All right there's our wool back and look 
while we were just while we were building this one layer we got almost six stacks of cactus it's not too bad so we'll grab these and there you go um all the cactus you might need now i was playing around earlier today playing hooky from our uh from our social engagement date and um and I found, I had found last night actually, I found a, I found some good stuff. I found some, um, a couple of spider spawners in a underground area, which made me kind of excited. And I did a snapshot of where it was and went back to go find it and found, uh, Oh, that didn't work at all. Okay, never mind. I'll deal with that later. Um, and I went back to go find it and, and found not only was there a spider spawner, but there were three of them. So I've got three spider spawners all within a short range of each other. So I have to decide what I'm going to do with that because that's pretty exciting. Um, not that I need a ton of string for much of anything. Because, you know, I have I have enough bows just from the, the skeleton spawner. And uh, these bows last a long time. I am on my second sort of infinity bow here. But, uh, I don't know. But I figure, since I have an opportunity to build one, I should go ahead and do it. I suppose if I needed to, I mean, I have plenty of sheep. So I don't need, I don't need to take the string and craft them into... Um, uh, craft them into wool. It always seemed kind of wasteful anyway. Um, so I don't know. But since I have an opportunity, I know where the spawner is and I can access it relatively easily. Uh, it seems to me I've got a very, it's a very complex uh, and large abandoned mine shaft system. And uh, two of the spawners are, uh, you can actually see them. There's one vantage point where you can see both of them at the same time. So they're definitely close enough to do something interesting with. So I have to uh, research that a little bit. And I figure since I've got them available to me, I may as well take advantage of it and build myself a string farm. And just have to uh, figure out the right arrangement and all that good stuff. So let me make some more jack-o'-lanterns them in the chest awesome so there we go um thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and found it instructional found it interesting uh, as you see the the structure is getting a little tall here but uh, here's one of my jack-o'-lanterns i put this down here um on this post to make a little light because i found that in the morning all of the sheep were down at this end of the of the pen and I have a feeling it's because there's more light down here because I lit the side. So we'll see if that actually is true. And there's enough sheep in there that even though they escape occasionally, um, I have pretty much an unlimited supply of green wool at this point because of them. By the time I get through going through and snipping all of them, shearing them, they uh, they keep uh, there's at least a few that have already regrown their their wool. Oh man, another pig got out. Ugh. Okay. Well, there's the farm so far. Not quite sure how much taller I'm going to build it. I'm getting close, but I think, I think another third, like half again this tall. I think. Okay. Hey, pig. Shoot. Do I still have two pigs in here? Yes, I do. All right. Oh, I've got animals on the escape everywhere. Okay, well, I'm going to go clean this up because this is oh, getting out of hand. So get back in there. There we go. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to call that an episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you later. Goodbye.